I've got hiccups and they're really annoying me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, you would have clicked on this video because obviously the title but in this video i am talking about my moving out story so i posted on my instagram to, for you guys to ask me some questions about this had quite a, like a few questions come in like good ones so very happy about that i think i'll go through those and anything i don't mention i will answer at the end but i'm gonna go like a quick brief story over everything before i answer some questions so um i moved well i met john when i was 16 it was like three weeks from my birthday um he just turned 23 he either turned 23 or 24 so i met john when he was 23 and i was 16 like end of my 16th kind of year um and yeah so his birthday came he turned 24 i got with him when i when it was like almost my birthday so i was like 16 like two weeks before my 17th birthday so yes got with john when i was 17 um, we were together for two and a half months before I moved in with him into a house because I was living with my auntie um, previously. There were some questions about that, so I'm not going to go into it until I get to the questions. And if anything I haven't man mentioned, I will put at the end. Yeah, so I was living with my auntie. Um, John was living in staff accommodation at work because obviously he's from Newcastle. And this was down in Worcester. And um, we were both working in Worcester. I just ripped my hair out. We moved in together to rent um, a property for a year after two and a half months being together that is incredibly soon i know you don't have to tell me but i just kind of like i just you know when you just know literally we've got so much stick for being together um it's actually unbelievable people are like just all the time like you're 17 he's 24 it's not gonna work kind of thing but you know what ton it has and it is so yes anyway so we moved in together um after two and a half months of being together very soon i know anyway um, we rented a property in Worcester for one year together. It was a two bedroom end of terrace house. It was literally like four houses in a row on their own in the middle of nowhere pretty much. Yeah, if you want to know, that was like 6 50 per month. It was in the Worcestershire Malvern area and Malvern is quite an expensive area to live in. My hair is really doing my head in. I'll probably go up eventually. Um, yes, yeah, so Malvern is quite an expensive area to live in. So 6 50 for that kind of house. It was really tiny, a bit excessive, but we liked it so we got it anyway um yeah so living with john for a year and then in august of 2017 we moved up here um to live with his parents and that's everything since we're still here saving up for a house um i'll go into that at the end questions let's see so the first one is why did you move out and is it a strain on your relationship i moved out because i was living with my auntie okay my nose is running so yeah i was living with my auntie didn't really like it there obviously i'm so grateful that she let me live there but i just got to that age where i was like mm, no thank you so moved out with my john because like i said he was living in staff accommodation and you don't want to live in staff accommodation because it's crap any hotel staff accommodation is rubbish so yes we just decided to like i don't know how we came across the decision of like shall we just move in together like we both had like a decent wage and stuff so it was like it made sense to okay you don't have to ignore me with my hair just for a minute i'm gonna brush it um and is it a strain in our relationship not at all it kind of like brought us closer because you like we hadn't really got to know each other like properly because you know it takes that time to know everyone completely well and you really don't know someone enough until you move in with them like john realized how messy i was i realized how messy john is we're just a very messy pair but it's getting better slowly the next one is did they not mind you moving in with them being john's parents no because well at least i don't think they did no they didn't um they want us to save up and move out so they're letting us live here rent free it was going to start off being like we were going to move in and pay board and stuff to them which obviously we we're more than like willing to we are just paying for rent so it's kind of like a normal thing for us um and then they just came to the decision that it would be easier and like quicker for us like saving kind of thing if they just didn't and i don't know why they didn't we keep saying to them we like we should have but you know it's their decision I'm not gonna say no. I don't know. I just literally couldn't ask for anything better, kind of thing. But no, they don't mind. So the next one is if you have an argument, isn't it like awkward? Do his parents ever get involved? Me and John don't argue, literally ever. Like, we don't 
argue and it's so nice that we don't i don't know like i am a very very laid back person so i think that kind of helps john's kind of like the person that gets stressed and i'm just there like chill um so no we don't ever argue really like we've only probably ever had like one argument like proper argument but not even like shouting at each other we just don't and it's kind of like a good thing i hate things on social media where it's like it's not a real relationship if you don't argue and i'm like why would you want to argue with someone every day? So no, we don't argue and his parents don't get involved because we don't argue and they probably wouldn't get involved anyway because it's like our business kind of thing. Um, the next one is, do you ever get self-conscious, e.g. him seeing you first thing in the morning, like, or all of the time? Um, no, I'm so used to it. Like, so basically, in Worcester, me and John both put on like quite a lot of weight. Not gonna lie, I put on about three stone. It's that like comfy environment where you're just happy and you don't care. Um, and I didn't even realise until like probably the end of us moving, I was like, I've put on a lot of weight very quickly. Um, I'll try and get a picture of what I used to like look like kind of thing. Um, and I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah. If you feel awkward or if you ever felt awkward in front of your boyfriend or like getting changed in front of him, no, don't be in that relationship. I'm just so like, I get out of bed and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get changed. Like, it just doesn't bother me. I don't really care. Like, I love him, he loves me. We're both slowly losing that weight. I didn't even care about him seeing me like getting undressed and stuff and like seeing me in the morning when I first got with him. I was kind of really like just comfortable and I think that's why I put on quite a lot of weight and stuff. Um, but yeah, no. Not even being like three stone heavier than I used to be, I don't feel self-conscious. I get those days where I'm like, oh, I look gross. But that's just my opinion. Like he's like, no, obviously not. You know, the, the typical things a boyfriend says, um, but no. The next one is, what is the hardest part about moving away from home? And this message is from Jess, and Jess is my best friend. Um, obviously, leaving friends, Jess. Um, Jess and Abby, and probably Vaz are the, oh, and like Sophie and Luca, so maybe like five people in general that's actually kept in contact with me. Um, Jess is the only person from like, high school she wasn't at the same school as me but we met when we were in like high school she's probably the only person because the other ones are from work like previous work um so yeah Jess is the only best friend I've ever had that's kept in contact with me um so yeah it's a bit like it's not even crap I love Jess to bits that is probably the hardest part of being like six hours away from my best friend I was gonna say three but it's not that's only when we meet in Manchester because that's like halfway um but yeah, it's probably like leaving your friends behind. I don't really speak to my family that much. The person I probably miss the most out of my family is my granddad or like my brother. Um, so yeah, probably those two. I don't really speak to the rest of my family. And no, you're probably going to ask in the comments, does that bother you? Not really. But no, the person I probably miss the most is Jess. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, but I do have like, yeah, just like a few people that I've kept in contact. But it's nice to have Jess there. Jess is literally like... The best friend anyone could ask for so yeah honestly though you don't realize who's actually your friend or gonna be there until you move and go away from like that area that you're originally from because like it's made me realize that there's literally like five people that i actually talk to which is kind of sad but you know i'm over it the next one is why did your mom move to america and if so why didn't you move with her um my mom moved to america because her and my dad were divorced um, but she was letting my dad live with her for a couple years just for like the peace of mind for her and for like us like me and my brother just oh my eye um just to have like both parental like figures there i didn't know that mum told me and i was like oh goodness um doesn't really bother me anyway um yes yeah, so mum moved to america because she wasn't happy with my dad they were split up she didn't cheat on him or anything. She moved to America because she met um, a man online. See, some of you guys might know that I'm going in March. Sorry, I'm picking my eyelashes because it's just mascara that's really bugging me. Um, some of you might know that I'm going to go and meet my mum. And by that time, it'll probably be, I think it's like eight years since I would have seen my mum. When I go and see her in March, just, just under eight years. So... Yeah, uh, and why didn't I go with her? I think the original plan was for me and my brother to go over with her. 
um but i think my dad just didn't send us i don't know if that's true but that's what i've been told so yeah i just think i think that we're supposed to we had the option to go and stuff like there'll be a few times where dad would be like do you want to go um and i'm just like obviously at that point i didn't like my mum because she just left us she did leave on my birthday um my dad said it was my third birthday and my mum said it was my fifth so i just say it was my fourth to go straight in the middle because i don't know mum probably knows better than dad being the one who left but i'm just gonna say four <laughs> um so yeah she left on my birthday so i had a bit of like animosity about that i think that's the right word um so i didn't like her for a good couple years and then when i got facebook i was like you know what i'm just gonna reach out to my mom because she's my mom at the end of the day and she did what made her happy and i'm glad that she did that because it's nice to see that she's with someone who really adores her and stuff now and i get a holiday out of it although it's an expensive holiday cheers mom um the next one is how long have you been together me and john have been together two and a half years it'll be three years this year um I spot my chin. So two and a half years, we got together on the 19th of June, 2016. So three years in June. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but yeah, I don't know whether we're gonna go on holiday or just spend like some time in the UK, maybe away for a little bit. Probably do that. The next question is what made you want to move out at 17 PS? Love your videos. Oh my God, thank you. Um, what made me want to move out is I was just wasn't happy with my auntie. Obviously, like I said, I'm so grateful for her letting me live with her. Um, I'm not going to go into the reasons why I did live with my auntie because it's literally like personal stuff that doesn't need to be on the internet. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just wasn't happy there. Not that I wasn't happy. I, was, I wasn't happy. Next one is what is the biggest adjustment you had to make when moving in with your boyfriend? Um, trying to be tidy is probably the biggest one i don't think there was many others really um probably like managing my money the next one is do you feel like living with your boyfriend has made you guys closer or more distant um definitely closer like like i said you don't really know someone until you move in with them or you spend like a lot of time with them um obviously being quite early on in the relationship we didn't really know much about each other um so it definitely helps you like that's either gonna make you or break you as a couple moving in together like you're just there around each other all the time like it's either gonna piss you off or you're gonna be like i love this and i loved it and it just made us closer um so yes um the next one is how did you get your parents to accept your decision um i kind of really didn't give them much of a choice obviously being 16 um they they could have really i guess i don't really know because i wasn't technically an adult um, I was just kind of like, I'm um, moving in with John, like, we've put a deposit down, I'm going. Um, and they kind of just said, yeah. This is the second to last question, is, what made you want to move out of your home, and is your relationship with your parents good? What made me want to move out? Obviously, like, just not being happy where I was. Um, is my relationship with my parents good? Mum, yes, I don't really, obviously, I haven't seen mum in so many years, so I don't really know what she's like in person, obviously, I'm sure she's going to be lovely. Um, I, the only memory I really have of my mum is when she came down in 2011 for our birthdays, like me and my brother, because they're very close. Um, and that is the last thing I remember, like, seeing her kind of thing. Um, and my dad, I, uh, dad's a difficult person. He's a bit of a shit, but I love him to bits. That has to be said. Um, just, I don't know, it's, it's a, it's just like, mm, I don't know, it's just... Mm. next one is how did you well the last one is how did you end up living with john's parents it was actually my idea like i said um and we were coming to the end of our tenancy agreement so it just made sense to move in together so yeah it just made more sense to move in with his parents because that me like meant we can actually save money towards the house um and obviously like we're either going to pay 650 again a month for a whole other year for that house or moving with moving with like his parents we could have moved in with mine but i didn't really want that um i wanted something new a different scenery change like just a fresh start fresh start um yeah so that's pretty much it so yeah john came in we just had a little chat turn the camera off and i'm gonna finish it um so like you're probably gonna question maybe like moving like getting a house kind of thing i don't know i just said like so many times that's really annoyed me um so me and john have an isa each set up so that's where you put 200 pound in a month um you that's the maximum you can put in 
and the government give you £50 back for that. So between us now we have £3,000 of our own money saved up and a quarter of that, I think it's like one fifty, like no, one fifty, one thousand five hundred. Um, is given you to us. You said that between us we've got three grand saved up. Oh, each. <laughs> <laughs> we have three grand each saved up um, in our actual money, and then the government are giving us, oh, like, yeah, the government are giving us one thousand five hundred pounds. So towards our house, we uh, towards our house we have seven and a half thousand pounds saved up for like a deposit. Um, so it's literally just like another one of those and a bit more will be happy i feel like once i've got this america trip over the way like and all that money is not being having to like save up for that i'm gonna have more money saved up for the house kind of thing so once this big trip's out of the way a little bit more of savings gonna happen obviously we're gonna treat ourselves in between like there's literally you have to have like a balance like i can't just save all my money towards like a house i need to have like my life kind of thing um so like that's why we've kind of just done the isa because that's 200 pound a month it's, it's literally it, like it doesn't feel like anything but in just like over a year we've had seven and a half saved up so that's pretty good um we're aiming for moving out april next year because houses come on the market around springtime anyway so that's a good time to yeah to um get our house kind of thing um we were gonna go for a new build house and do like help to buy and stuff but literally that is like a trap like don't ever do that you end up paying like another 200 and something pound on top of your mortgage just to get rid of the um, interest free loan that they give you for the first five years and the four or five grand that you've got to pay for it to actually be freehold and be mm -hmm. your house otherwise yeah. it's technically long term rent yeah so you basically like you have at least kind of thing um, for say like a hundred years and you want to pay that off you don't want to keep it because if that's your like lifetime home your kids after are going to have a home with like 70 no like with 30 years left on it or something and it's just not worth it really so that was like an extra like four grand five grand just to pay that off and it was like no like once i did all the maths i was like this is not happening i'm like i'm not doing that um obviously it was such a nice thought because we could with the money that we have now we could have probably moved out in like april this year um with the help to buy but it's just the things that come with it where it's just a bit crap um and new builds they're not very well made like they're quite cheaply made um you're very overlooked there's so many things that we're quite picky about now when it comes to like picking our actual home um detached. yeah it has to be detached i don't want to be overlooked in my garden no. when i'm naked sunbathing there you go but yeah so it's kind of things like that i don't really know like, what else to say like i just that's kind of how i'm going about this video any more questions you have in the description like hmm any more questions that you have just put them in the comments down below and i will get back to you and answer all of them um yes if you want me to do like a part two i don't know um like if there's loads of questions i will do a part two but if there's not then i'll just answer them separately like just in the comment box so yes that is it i think i think that's it so yeah guys if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you next time with another video bye guys should we get one of those cringy kissing couple pictures for my thumbnail no what